this point you're done with your final project and you've clicked save. All of your videos and all of your titles and everything are lined up in the project line. You've practiced them by playing it. Everything sounds and looks good. You can't insert a project into a PowerPoint. You can't post it on Facebook. You can't upload it to YouTube. You need to convert that project into a file that you can use. The last tab, Share, will allow you to do that. We'd like to make this project as best quality that we can afford. Right now we have lots of space on our H drive, so we'll click Computer. And we're going to select Windows Media. The file that comes up, or the file type that comes up, is Adobe Flash Video. That's an FLV video. We don't want to use that because we're not posting it to web pages. We're going to select Windows Media because we're going to be using it to play back on a computer. The second thing that we'll do is make sure that we're selecting Cable Modem, DSL. When you select Cable Modem, that's a basic setting that's going to play very well on any PowerPoint. It's something that you could upload to YouTube or to Facebook. If you had lots of file space and you wanted to do very, very high quality, you could move down this list and go to something like HD quality at 720p at 30 frames per second. In selecting that, however, you're going to end up having some problems with file space. You might have not enough room on your H drive to save this video. Next up is to give this a good name. And the last step is to browse and find the folder where you're going to be saving this. I always tell students, go to computer, from computer, click your H drive, from the H drive, find your tech folder, and then put it into a folder that makes sense. If we were doing a dragster video or a bridge or tower video, you'd put it into that folder. Since we're doing a video just on basic editing, I'll put it into my editing folder. When I say OK, I'm going to double check that things look right. It's a Windows media file. I'm saving it as the cable modem DSL preset. The name makes sense to me. Saving as a WMV, for you it might be something like, my name is. You'll save it into a folder that you know where you're putting it. That's all you need to do and click save. Now the computer is rendering the media. It's turning it into a form that you can use in a PowerPoint or upload to YouTube, for example. This process takes longer if the video is longer. When it gets to 100%, a button will come up to say done. Your video is done and you'll want to double check that it worked. It does say done. I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to go to my H drive to find that video. Make sure it works when I play it. I put it in tech, editing, and I'm looking for something that says saving as a WMV. I can also see that this file is pretty large. It's over 2,300 kilobytes. That's over two megabytes. When I double click it, it opens it up in media player and it plays. If it didn't play properly or if there was a problem with it, go back to the process of opening up your media player, I'm sorry, opening up Adobe Premiere, save it again, share it, and go through those steps. Hope that helps.